Right guys, Mark Crossfield here, and today we're looking at the Ping G Max irons. Ping are maxing the G. The G has been maxed. Um, so this is kind of an add-on. The G30 still exists and is out there. Let's look at what Ping G Max irons have to offer. Let's get stuck in. Right guys, Ping G Max irons. So we're getting the normal gray Ping finish, which I like, always have enjoyed. We do get a ferrule on these ones actually. It makes me, um, I do think they put the ferrule on this one maybe just for you guys, as in you like a ferrule. I like to see a Ping club without a ferrule personally. It kind of reminds me of what Ping were about when they started. They still make G30, I think comes with no ferrule. Cosmetic, more than anything else, not gonna perform in any different ways. Very thick soled clubs, uh, quite long bladed lengths, medium to thicker top line and you see a little bit of the back of the club sticking out at the back when you put it down at a dress. Now we're getting something I think they've heat treated the face Ping is saying which allows for them to make a stronger face a thinner face in places to help try and increase ball speed um, we get this little kind of circle on the back here which again is there to try and help increase uh, ball speeds from across the face so when you're missing that effective sweet spot if you like we get this little weight down here at the back as well which is now off the face it's pulled back from the face that's going to be great for moi again increasing ball speeds across the face so it's really a kind of a, a maxed out iron in lots of ways the six iron in my hand here is 27 degrees loft so that's slightly maxed as well um it kind of does upset me but I, I see why that market's there but i'm just not sure why ping have to go that way lots of other manufacturers are um, there is a market there, I guess, and these guys, are, as long as all the others are in the market of selling equipment. So if you're looking for distance, in theory, this iron is one that might do it for you. Um, other interesting point, which I really like, actually, I've got the four iron in my hands here, and the first thing I noticed when I picked it up is how light it felt. So they've got very light swing weights in four, five, and six iron, I think. So they're thinking about the swing weight. So by making it lighter, they're hoping you might be able to deliver the face of the path in a slightly more constructive way to hopefully hit target. Now we're going to hit some shots. I've also hit some shots with GC2, HMT and my Pro V1X gaming balls. Um, so let's hit some and see what they feel like and then we'll look at some data. Okay, let's give this iron a hit then. Putting it down by the ball, it, I like the offset for the players it wants. It's very big as it presents down the ball. Down by the ball, I think it's going to really be a friendly iron for lots of golfers who want the friendliest iron they can get their hands on off the face now it does make a quite a loud sound this is the g max they're maxing sound which will make you feel like you're maxing distance you've got to remember we're in a launch monitor era lots of clubs now are being designed so they sell on the launch monitors who would buy the shorter playing iron if you compare to which i think is a real shame really it's kind of not what certainly not what i set out to do when i was looking at uh, showing you golf equipment on launch monitors and certainly not I'm sure what the manufacturers particularly want but this one is maxed out for the maxers out there like uh, it's a really big head down by the ball which I think is a great great thing for lots of people it is a rocket going off it's a very very loud sound um, if we just go up to let's go up to the four iron I've got here the four iron again it's more offset it's big it's long you see a little bit of the head out the back i think for people who want the most friendly iron they can get their hands on this is definitely going to be one it'd be interesting to see the spin numbers with it because these irons go stronger in lengths try and push distance but they still get up as high people argue yeah but then what is it doing to the spin and then obviously the land angle if it gets up at high hopefully it will be similar but what's happening to that spin if that comes down are you going to get that stop the other end which we'll look at um you know these are cranked up lofts but it's a good looking ping iron i'm sure i don't like the fact it's got the ferrule on it that's much more my personal preference that's a four iron just going up in the end no problem with all its offset and it's i do like the, the weight off the face as well i think that's a clever design uh, for obviously a bit of stability improving those ball speeds across that face should we check these numbers out let's see what the numbers are like on the ping g max they've maxed the g right let's look at some of the all important numbers then of the g max so six i go 172 maxing out at 180 and that is very strong obviously nailed that one you can see there the strikes are moving around a bit on the face which is moving that data around so when i'm striking it really well 
180, which is definitely further than my six iron would go. Um, I'm presenting around, what am I averaging there? Well, if you take the 28 degree loft kind of misread on the first one, or not misread, it's due to the way the machine captures, 21 degrees dynamic loft I'm delivering. That loft is having a massive effect on preference. I mean, the biggest number, the spin, the spin's down at 5.1. Six iron for me is normally spinning at around 6,000. So even though it's getting up as high and the land angle is going to be very similar to other six irons here, it's going to have a little bit less spin on it. It's going to help with distance and it certainly might make it harder for me to stop it the other end with certain clubs as well but only a small amount I'm maxing out my ball speed at one two three when hitting it out the middle down to 114 when not getting it so once again wherever ping and other companies will try and move ball speeds they say they increase ball speeds i mean i'm moving it what am i moving it there six and nine degrees uh, nine miles an hour on strike alone they're only moving it one to three um, you see what I mean? It's very limited to what they can do with these clubs. Now, I like these clubs. They're fine. I do think it's a little bit playing into that distance market. Uh, it kind of upsets me a little bit. I love the way Ping are really so truthful and honest to what they're about. But at the end of the day, they're about selling clubs. So if there's people out there who want a Max G, there's a Max G out there for you now. Just be careful to make sure the ball stops the other end if you're maxing, is all I'm slightly worried about. But a good set of clubs. Um, as maxing clubs go, there are certainly ones out there that maybe max a little bit more. Post comments down below, are you gonna max your G? Let me know, are these something you love or hate? You think something that might help your game? Let me know in those comments as always. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for loads more videos. Find me on Instagram at CrossfieldMark. Also on Twitter at 4GolfOnline. Find me on Facebook, Mark Crossfield. Thanks for watching, post comments as always, and see you soon.